You have run before. I haven't. So uh, why, why throw your hand in the ring now? Well, I've been doing community service for mm -hmm. 30 years, and I obviously have a heart for this community. I grew up here, mm -hmm. and I just figured it's time to step it up. Have you got any boards or any kind of like planning and planning board, any of those? On the city boards, I recent, most recently I've been on the uh, pension board, the Pension Fire Pension Board. Oh, okay. Before that, city board wise, I was on the uh, Historic Preservation Board. Okay. And I guess combined in about nine years on this group. Uh, how long were you on the, are you still on the pension board? I just turned out. You just turned out, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that experience? Uh, it was good. It was uh, enlightening mm -hmm. and certainly. Uh, Educational, and, and I think uh, it's a big part of a uh, big part of our city. Did you go to a lot of commission meetings? Uh, I have periodically when something's hot. Recently, I have. I mean, any opinion about how the commission gets along or what changes might be needed? Yeah, you know, you know, it's it's not as I would have conducted myself. I, I think that uh, the pettiness is something that shouldn't happen personally. Um, well, there's some long relationships there, and I know there's some wounds uh, periodically. But I, you know, I, I'm a more upbeat person. Yeah, I'm more upbeat, and I, I uh, you know, like to keep it positive. What would be a couple of your priorities, maybe that are close to your heart that you would want to get done? First? Well, I'm afraid we're being forced to uh, deal with this economy and, and the budget, and. Uh, that's not always close to my heart, but it is important, and it's, I think I have the expertise in that area because I got a business degree. I run my own firm, make payroll, mm -hmm. on a bank board for 20 years, and so I understand it. And uh, so it will it will be big. And uh, the couple things that uh, I think we can do automatically is, uh, you know, we can engage some of the expertise in the city. We can put a blue ribbon blue ribbon panel of uh, of those who. Uh, can help us with that budget, and I think that's been done in the past. I know it's been done in the past, and I think the last time I was done, I was talking to a guy today who was on it, and they came up with $50 million worth of savings. So I think uh, that that kind of uh, community action is what's going to take have to take place in order to come up with some solutions. We got to look at the budget. We got to line by line go over it, make sure that uh, we understand uh, what's in it, and then we got to look on the revenue side. And that's the only other way to attack uh, the budget is, is increased revenues. And I have some ideas in that area. I think we got about. Yeah, I, I think we really have to concentrate on economic development. And we got to be a user-friendly city. We got to be easy to do business here. We want we should be reaching out to the small businessmen and say, how can I help you? And I've heard, you know, story after story, unfortunately, that that's just not the case. We don't make it easy on the small well, business. What could the city do to make it easier to? Well, expedite the permitting process. Mm -hmm. uh, if, if I want to open up a dry cleaner uh, and I'm going down, I got a landlord that wants to rent it to me, I ought to be able to go down to the city and apply for that permit in 30 days and walk out the door and be able to go in business. And that's just not happening. Is there anything you learned on the pension board that would? Uh, give you a solution for that problem. I learned a, uh, a few things. There, there are um, there are some mechanisms that you can use to, to save the city contribution, at least for the short term. Mm -hmm. And in down years, uh, smoothing techniques are certain things you can do actuarially in order to address that. I think we're going to have to really look hard at, at you know the 20 and out, whether or not we can afford that. Um, there's obviously benefit to have a pension such as ours to these young guys that come out and, you know, you want them to be fighting the fires or, or protecting the people, and you don't want them to be worrying about their retirement necessarily, and they need professional advice. But at the end of the day, it's a question of what can we afford, and, and we're going to have to go at it that way. Um, tell us, we, we've heard some really mixed reaction to people who have participated on city boards. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of work done, and then in some cases it goes nowhere, or in one of them, couple of interview, an interview we just had where the actual commissioner of the district voted against right. the interests of the decisions made mm -hmm. by, by community groups. Uh, so 
where do you land on this pension board? And do you feel that the work that you guys did was taken seriously and incorporated into city government decisions, or do you think it was cast yeah. away side? Yeah, I really do, because there was so much at stake there. Mm -hmm. This, you know, this last contract negotiation, I'm sure, was the smoothing, mm -hmm. the implementation of the smoothing uh, technique uh, helped to to make it happen finally. But that's not, you're not, it's not really an advisory board. You have ultimate decisions you're uh, correct. you can yeah. make there. Now, when I was on, when I was on the historic preservation board, um, I thought we got pretty good support from the commission. But on the other hand, like you take Smoker Park, for instance, we voted to declare it historic and the commission turned it down. Now, 